What's up everybody? Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And in today's video, we're talking Lunker Hunt. Now this is the Lunker Hunt Combat. That's pretty funny. I just realized the camo is the exact same pattern on the sweatshirt I'm wearing. That's pretty cool. All right. So this is a Lunker Hunt Combat Combo. Now it's got an assault reel and a combat rod. Very nice. Going to set you back about 150 bucks. Um, I picked mine up for 60 at um, Dick's last Christmas. So far, so good. We're going to show you what it can do. And maybe this could be the next rod for you. Stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so let's get started. First, let's talk about the rod. The rod is a two-piece, seven-foot, medium-heavy, fast-action uh, rod. The two-piece part is both positive and negative. I like it. I think it's really well done. It's got good sensitivity. We've got nine very well-done rod um, line guides very nicely done got these cool uh, gold accents got some more back here got some down here by the graphite on the reel seat for the adjuster got eva foam rod grips and an eva foam rod but very cool matches my sweatshirt that's pretty cool very nicely done now the two pieces like i said both a positive and a negative works really good very compact very uh, portable that's the biggest key do you lose sensitivity a little bit but um honestly if you're using this for a general purpose uh throwing square bills lipless crankbaits spinner baits things like that with the reel that's on here works really really well uh, let's talk about the reel now the reel is a six six to one um casting reel very nicely done got 90 millimeter crank arm eva foam rod grip uh rod knobs right here for the crank uh, drag star produces 19 pounds of drag very nice. It's a one-piece graphite frame. Got a, a plastic cover on this side, but that's where the brake is. Uh, the spool is anodized aluminum with this, like, gr chrome gold accent to it. Uh, spool tensioner is metal, um, anodized, anodized, anodized. Uh, plastic thumb, uh, thumb release, uh, thumb bar. Kind of odd. Um, is it the best combo from Lunker Hunt? No. Um, they make that uh, Bedlam. That's very nice. A little more expensive than this one. This one right here I picked up for $65 and is usually between $125 and $150. But not a bad combo. We're going to take it out. We're going to go throw it around on the water and see what this thing can do. All right, so first off, what you're gonna have to do is when you get this thing set up, you figure out what lure you're gonna be throwing. Right now, I'm gonna be throwing a double plopper, which is one of these from uh, Academy, nothing special. It's like a their version of the Whopper plopper. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust your spool tension very tight so the, the, the lure doesn't fall. You see, there you go, now you should be able to see. And all you're gonna do is back it off until the lure starts to fall. Just like that. That's what we want. We want it to where when the lure falls and hits the ground, nothing happens here. No backlash. Now, the rest is going to come from practice. You're going to set the break. Right now, I've got it out of four out of, um, I think it's eight. And then the spool tension, as you want more distance and as you change lures, make sure when you change a lure, you change this setup. You redo this. And it allows you to see how far this thing's really going to cast. Now, that was beautiful. Uh, did really, really well. Didn't backlash. Um, I'm going to reel this thing in and see how that works. Now, the cool part about 6.6 six to 1 is it allows you to really work those spinner baits and things like that real slow, and it's not going to burn them back. Topwater baits are the same way. Uh, most people, if you're watching them, when they're fishing a topwater bait, they'll see you'll see their whopper poppers are flipping or the revolver, or whoever you're using, whatever topwater bait, that means you're reeling it way too fast. Um, the bait is supposed to just make look like action, make it look like it's moving, uh, like a distressed fish. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice cast, nice, cast very nicely. I've been using this for since um, 
last year. Uh, I got it, this is 2022. I bought it in 2021 for clearance at the Dick's here in Athens. And it's been working great. All right, so I changed down my lure. Now, like I said, every time, check this, see? This lure is smaller, it's lighter, it's 3 8 The other one was a half ounce. So this one's not gonna fall the same, see? It's not even falling. So I gotta back that spool off, and there we go. Now this is a square bill crankbait. Uh, this thing's gonna work really well on this kind of on this kind of rod. On this reel, it's gonna be allow it to get down to the depth. Deep diving crankbaits too. It allows it to get down where it needs to be and keep it in that water column where it's designed to be. Uh, too fast and you're pulling up more than you're pulling forward. Uh, small one over there. Not over, not over here yet. Oh, it came off. Oh, dang. It's up in the bushes. Dang, that sucks. That was a good fish. Last year. I caught the second biggest fish of my year right here on this spot, throwing through the same little area. Now, if that was her, I'd be very happy because she'd probably be bigger than she was last year. Man, I'll show you a picture of that real quick. Just, it's not what I, I have no idea what I was, when I had that just now, but that's what she was. So. All right, so let's talk about this combo. We want to say, uh, first, let's talk about it as a combo. As a combo, I'd say it's a 5 out of 10. Um, value, ugh, that's where it falls short. Um, is it worth $150? No, um, not to me. For $150, there's some incredible rod and reel combos out there that you can get for $150. I mean, honestly. Uh, the, does it do a great job? Yes. I've caught some great three-pounders. Um, I haven't caught anything over that on the combo, but that's not the combo's fault. Uh, that's on me. Um, I had a really nice fish earlier, uh, but I lost it. I was very disappointed in that. Uh, would have loved to have caught that on, vi on video again. Um, like I said, I caught a monster there last year. Great fish, great fish. Uh, six pounds, seven ounces. Very nice. Uh, would I buy this combo for $150 and be happy? No. Um, for $150, you can get a great combo. Uh, this one does a good job, though. The cool part about this uh, is the rod. The rod, what a lot of people are gonna judge is a two-piece rod versus a one-piece rod. Well, it's not a two-piece, it's not a one-piece rod. It's a two-piece rod. Two-piece rod makes it way more portable and way more packable. Means uh, being able to take it, break it down, stick it inside your kayak when you're not using it, break it down, stick it in the back seat of your car when you're on a road trip. And being able to take something that allows you to have 19 pounds of drag and fish, that's exceptional. Uh, I, that's one of the best things about this combo. I really like that. Um, would I buy this for $150? Like I said, no. Um, at the under $100 range, yes, yes. Very well done. Performs well. It's not the low profile reel we all love that you get and you get used to that just fit in the palm of your hand and you can just really just walk those soft plastics off the bottom. But 19 pounds of drag is big. Um, that means that everything inside is just dialed in just right to be able to muscle that and get that kind of number. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I really do. Um, I'll put a link down below to Dick's Sporting Goods to where you can go check it out. And I'll put a link to Lunker Hunt. Go over and check out all their fishing gear. But guys, we want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. If you have any questions about this combo, shoot them down below. We'll do another follow-up on the water uh, later on. But guys, we couldn't do this without you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Go over and check us out. We're on Facebook, on Instagram, and we would love to get to know each and every one of you. So thanks again. Make sure you take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. Mm.